Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer This Best. Uh, I've got my 1985 Chevy C10 truck that goes by the name of Tyler. Y'all chose the name, my YouTube subscribers, Tyler, because the man that used to own this truck laid tile. So Tyler was an appropriate name. Let me turn this off. I've had it running for a few minutes. Gotta get some of that stuff out. Today, I am uh, uh, today. <laughs> it's been a long day. My mother-in-law is at the nursing home, and she is asleep. And uh, in the meantime, one of our good friends, my wife's my wife's best friend, uh, her husband's mother, died of a heart attack just uh it's kind of strange how it happened i mean you know everybody dies you know everybody dies what i'm trying to say is people die every day but uh she called my wife's best friend and said that uh she said bring me something down here to uh uh do a blood pressure test you know on your arm she said i think i'm having a heart attack well when they got there she was kind of uh well, I'll just say she was kind of foaming at the mouth there a little bit. And, uh, you know, of course, they called an ambulance and everything. And uh, unfortunately, she died. You know, she, uh, you just don't ever know, do you? And uh, anyway, that's not the point of this video. I'm trying to tell you that my wife is with her. They're picking out some uh, clothes to wear to the funeral. My My wife's friend has been helping mrs pib on everything concerning her mother so now and i mean they grew up together in california my wife is from california and so is her best friend they just happened to live here in tennessee just within miles of each other believe it or not so they stay in constant communication several times a day anyway sorry i just wanted to give you the premise of why i'm here doing this here at home by myself <laughs> anyway this 85 c10 truck uh if you've watched my other video here i don't i don't know when i'm posting this but my 2003 cat eye truck is at gm tim 38's house garage he's on youtube now please listen to this gm tim 38 gm space tim 38 he's working on my cat eye truck going to do a brake job and a few other odds and ends you know i haven't had i got the truck this year just a few months ago haven't drove it that much i have but i haven't it's a good truck anyway i knew i knew it was going to have to have brakes just some little minor things and uh brian told told us yesterday you know my i was having trouble with my uh shifter you know i'd put it in park and then i couldn't get my key out the, the ignition wouldn't turn all the way well, Brian told me, he said, Jimmy said, push your shifter lever toward the dash. So I did, and the key would come right out every time. Well, he dug into it. There's a little spring that was broke. So he's ordered another spring. But anyway, I kind of got used to just pushing it toward the dash. I mean, I got to where I didn't even give it a second thought. But he's doing a few things to the truck, the cat eye truck, and uh, when he gets done with it, uh, we're going to be, he's going to be working on this truck. Uh, I got a few things gathered up for him. Uh, I got all this, well, let's see. I got me a list started. My temperature hand on this truck doesn't work. All the other gauges work. The clock, the clock works, but the, the minute and the hour hand doesn't work. The second hand, you know, works fine. Tick, 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 tick. Anyway whatever i might just take the fuse out of it and forget it i don't really care anyway uh i've got these gauges just because it does have i don't know if you can see this now it's kind of dark right here it does have a temperature hand brian said he's going to try to fix the one that you know the factory one in the dash but if not i've got to know if it's running hot or whatever's going on with it you know you don't want to be uh, out in the summertime or whatever in it, you know, it overheat. So I want to know. In, either, in any case, I'd like for him to put a 
either put one of these on here, you know, this, or, uh, or fix the one that's in it. I think he can fix the one that's in it, actually. But just in case, I'm trying to save him grief. Here's what I got wrote down thus far. Sorry, guys, the wind's blowing. Uh, 85C10 truck Tyler. The AC works, but I got a terrible leak. Let me lay this down here so we can all read it and I can refresh my memory. My wife wrote all this down for me because she writes a whole lot neater. See if you can tell where I started writing. <laughs> Fix the AC. It's got a leak somewhere. And she, already, she always writes, please. Isn't that neat? Check out the radio. Oh, yeah, the radio comes on, but there's no sound. So I don't know if it's in the radio. I thought I heard it a speaker in the back behind the seat. But Brian will check it out. Brian's pretty smart. And he can do things in just a few minutes that would take me, or most people, hours or days. He's just, some people are just gifted. He is one of them. Oh, yeah, fixed temperature. Gauge. Lower truck. Put the sport bumper on. And he's got to order brackets to put the sport bumper on. And, uh. License plate bracket, you know, the lights for the license plate, you know, where the light shines, because you'll get a ticket around here if you don't have it. I got a leaky valve cover, and I think it's on the passenger side. Mount the spare tire that I have in the back. Clean engine compartment. Now, check out that video that GM Tim 38, Brian, sorry, I keep calling him Brian. Check out Brian's video of where he done Tim Dixon's 75 C10 truck. Now that truck turned out good. Huh? He buffed it. He done cleaned the engine. I mean it looked awesome. Awesome. If he can make this one look somewhat like that, I'm not asking him to buff it. I, I can do the paint or whatever myself, but if he can clean the engine compartment, I guess I could show you. It's pretty much an original truck. You know, best I can tell. Like I said, the AC did work, but all the Freon leaked out. It's a 305 with a 350 turbo, if I didn't tell you. I think I have, but in case there's a new person to the channel. Clean engine compartment, like, oh, <laughs> I didn't see that, honestly. Like Tim Dixon's. Please check this truck out from top to bottom. Wheels and spacers, please. I'm going to buy some 20-inch American racing wheels for this truck. And uh, I'm going to keep these. That's the reason I, I didn't go out and buy new beauty rings and stuff. These, these are all used from wheels I had. As you can see, there's a little spot there. They're all kind of mismatched if you look good enough. But I took the real thin beauty rings off and put on the Corvette style, you know, kind of thicker. To me, it looks much better. Uh, oh yeah, I know something else I gotta, let's see, wheel spacers, uh, electric window motors, yeah, I've got them in the box over here, and I gotta put all this in the truck, and that's why I've got the truck out, because I'm afraid, Brian said if I'm not home and we're at the assisted living center, that he can just drop the cat eye truck off, the 2003 cat eye truck, and pick this one up as long as I tell them where the keys are at. So I'm not sure what the circumstances are going to be that day. And I'm not in a hurry to get the cat eye truck back home. But uh, I think that'll look pretty good, don't you? I'll have to get Tim Dixon to do that. Just tack it on there for me. I'm just trying to dress it up just a little bit. Oh, the driver's side window. Uh set this up here it's hard for me to do two things at the same time talking is my number one priority <laughs> but uh that little stob that holds the vent window here at the bottom it's broke so i have to keep the window latched at all times but uh i think i think we have another one so i'm going to see if brown will fix that i'm wanting him to check out the electric window motors i've got them i think i done told you that I got them in the box. And dang, I just thought of something. Let me make sure. Oh, I got these uh oh wheel uh shock extenders. That's what they are, shock extenders. 
I got those. So when he lowers the truck, now I know a lot of people is going to go, well, Jimmy, why are you doing that? Come on now, what's, why are you doing that? Why are you lowering the truck? Why? Oh yeah, I need this. Let me write that down. Just a minute, and I'll get right back with you. But if I, I'm I'm 66 years old. If I don't write something down, I will absolutely, positively forget it. I need new side, new side. You can see my writing. <laughs> I never could write good. Even in school, I got points deducted because my writing was sloppy. New side trim molding. I'm going to let him order this. All this stuff. I've already uh, gave him money to, you know, anything that the truck needs. Just order it and it can be shipped to his house. And that way, because we're not home very much, and we, uh, there's a lot of porch pirates where we live. Here, this whole, this whole area, my wife was reading on Facebook that warning people that people are getting their packages and stuff stolen. But, uh, I'll set this back down here. But, uh, I think this is the power window. Anyway, so it's going to be shipped to his house. And my wife and I made a list of things we were going to order, but uh, then her mother-in-law had this uh, change of health, you know, turn for the worse. She, you know, she had that massive stroke. I can't do nothing. Oh, my goodness. Got too many irons in the farm. I'm trying to keep my video short, and you see how long they are. Oh, I got these here, too. I don't think they're going to work for the truck because I'm missing a couple of straps. But uh, I think these are the power window motors. Dormant, let's say, make sure window lift motor. Dormant, I had to special order them, so I got them. I mean, I was trying to get things so you know when it was time for my truck to get to go to Brian's, you know, I would have everything. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Brian this too. Now y'all might think this is goofy, but I think it's pretty cool. If you remember on my YouTube channel here, Primer is Best, a few months ago, I sold my 62 Impala Waddy. I always name my vehicles Waddy, the 88 OBS Truck Sam, the 75 C10 Truck Sky, the 78 GMC Truck Shannon, and I'm missing one. I sold another one. Oh, the 2007 uh, Chevy truck coffee I always name my trucks if you're interested in looking at them I have lots of videos and let me tell you this did you know I have over 2,000 videos I never ever imagined I had that many but I do anyway this uh this came out of getting back to the point this came off my 62 Chevy Impala Whitey my uncle bought that car brand new in 1962 in northern Alabama, and he was an insurance salesman, and he, he worked out of that car. That car had a zillion miles on it. He went all over the southeast part of the country, Mississippi, Georgia, everywhere. So he had uh, under-dash AC put on, and this is it. So I told Brian he could have that to put on his 59 uh Kingswood Wagon Matilda. He names his too, Matilda. That's a cool wagon. Anyway, I told him he could have it. I told him I said it's just sitting here. If you want to try to make it work, get you a compressor. You know, he he's a lot smarter than I am. This is a, a Mark IV Special. And, uh, you know, AC was kind of a... You could get it in 62, but I mean, it was, I'm sure it was pretty expensive. But anyway, I thought if he wanted to use that, he could mount it under the dash. And, you know, if he wants to, if not, it's just sitting here. I'm never going to use it, so I'm going to give that to him. And, and the brackets, I don't know if he could use any of them, but I'm giving him everything that I know I have for the car. Uh, getting back to this, uh, lowering it. I'm going to get some 20-inch uh, American Racing Torque Thrust wheels like I always put on my trucks. The only one I haven't put them on is uh, 
to 84 C10 truck left turn build. Even Billy James, the 78, has uh, torque thrust wheels on it. And I thought about putting these wheels on Billy James and stuff, but uh, I might just, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I think I'm just going to buy some new ones at Ronnie Tyler's in Madisonville, Tennessee. Uh, he's a real good guy, good friend of mine, and he, uh, that's where I buy my wheels and tires from. He is worth the trip. Ronnie and Josh Tyler, that's his son, Josh, and uh, we've been good friends for years. I bought a lot of wheels from him, wheels and tires. But uh, I was trying to, in my mind, trying to kind of imagine if it was lowered down. I, I don't know what Brian's going to, he said he's got a, going to do a flip kit, you know, with the axle, flip the axle, and I, I don't know if it's going to be a, I don't know if it's going to be a 5.6, five, 5.7, five, I'm not sure. Getting back to my point of what I was going to say, a lot of people is going to be disappointed in me uh, because I'm lowering the truck. A lot of people might be disappointed because, uh, hang on. I'm sorry about that, guys. That was my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., telling me they're going to go to another store to look for some clothing. Also, yeah, I got to fix that leak. It's got a leak there. It doesn't have to sit very long and it starts leaking oil. I don't know the really the history on this old truck other than the man that used to own it laid tile. Okay. Oh, yeah. What I was talking about before my wife called. A lot of people's going to be disappointed in me, I guess, but I do the, basically the same thing every year on an OC10 truck, sometimes two, sometimes three trucks I you know I, I kind of play with them for a while and when I get tired of playing with them I kind of I don't know they seem to get gone and I wind up with something else and I start all over I was telling my wife uh, <laughs> I say this all the time but now who knows but I always tell my I told my wife today I said boy if we get this in the way I like it I said I think we'll just keep this one but she looked at me so goofy and, and and I knew what she was going to say. She she said, you say that about every one of them. Every one of them. And you know what? She's right. So I don't know. Uh, oh, here's my sport bumper. Got to get the brackets. Mount the, the spare tire carrier. There's my spare tire. Oh, yeah, bumper guards. Yeah. Put on bumper guards. I got them for the front. They're not bad looking. They're used. Everything on this. On this old truck, you know, basically is used. Of course, that sport bumper is new, but I had to, can't find one around here, so I had to get new. I think it'll look much better and uh, with the chrome trim and stuff. Now, when I get the truck back from Brian's, and I'm not in a hurry. He knows I'm not in a hurry. He can keep this thing as long as he wants to. I'm not able to play with much here lately anyway, since my mother-in-law had that stroke, so... I'm going to, when I do get the truck back, I will I might kind of rattle can some of it there a little bit uh, with silver. I'm going to keep it like it was. I had in my head thoughts of painting the top white and keeping the rest silver, but I probably won't do that either. I don't know. I'll know when the day gets here. But if you'd like to keep up with this old truck, Tyler, that y'all named, please subscribe to the channel, Primer is Best. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. I'm kind of doing this video because this might be the last time I see this truck like this. And I want to load up all my stuff that I have for Brian. I want to make his life just as easy as I can. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm in no hurry. I'm hoping it don't cause him a lot of a headache. But so far, I mean, it, it's been a pretty good truck. I mean, it needs things. What, it's 85, so... 95, 2005, 15, uh, 20, 30, 38 years old. I think that's right. It's the insides. And when my wife and I were taking the tent and stuff off this thing, uh, we were talking, or she was talking. She said, Jimmy, that's my name if I didn't tell you, Jimmy. She said, she said, Jimmy, I don't think anybody's ever sat over here on this side. But I mean, it's just it's just such a nice truck. It's a good solid truck and it's really unusual for me to have one 
this nice. Door shuts good. Uh, but yeah, it's really unusual. And I, once again, I'll mention to you, I know I've already, y'all's probably tired of hearing it, but I gave too much for the truck. My wife told me that today. <laughs> she said, you know, you give too much for this truck. And I said, yeah, I know. But I said, I, I just like the color. I like the color. It's a factory short bed. And, uh, you know, it's always been here in East Tennessee. And, uh, if I don't take this off, I'll forget. But I was going to. Anyway, the reason I got the truck out was to walk around, look at it, see if I need anything or, what, or something I might have forgot. But we've put new side markers on, new tail lights. But I just want to show you again. Oh, oh my goodness. It's not y'all. I have bad knees. This old truck is solid. And the, uh, the guy that done the, the exhaust work, I don't know who it was, but he painted every weld on here. And I had duels put on it. But this is a solid old truck. Other than a few oil leaks here and there. But it, it starts right up pretty much. And uh, I mean, you might... If you don't start it for a while, you got to pump it a few times. But uh goes right into gear. And, uh, you know, like I've said before, when I was looking at the truck before I bought it, there's no dings. There's, I mean, there's nothing where some looks like somebody might have thrown wood or bricks or tile. There's nothing like that. I mean, it's all, it's all pretty nice. I got one... one rust spot right here right there on the bottom of this tailgate and I believe this truck is set outside for most or at least a good part of its life I actually believe it's set for a while and uh, there's two other rust spots and that's on the inner inner fender on the bottom I mean, even that's good right there that normally rust out. So I was telling my wife, I, I said, I know I give too much for the truck. I know I did. Could have waited. Maybe found another one or something. I mean, I don't know, but I, I just like this color, you know, the silver. So when I get it back home, I think I'm going to rattle can paint it silver like i always do all my trucks i not silver but whatever color i choose whatever color it was born with just paint it and try to make it look pretty good if i can sometimes i'd have good days guys where it looks pretty good and uh i might just i don't know if i'm going to leave all this or not i might leave some of it i might leave just a little bit here on the edges but i'm not going to go uh patina crazy on it i'm going to leave a few little spots natural spots i'm not going to create my own like i normally do and i think i just you know leave it like that i think it'll turn out pretty good and is it worth a you know i've had i've had lots of people say you know jimmy this truck is worth a nice paint job it's worth a nice nice paint job i agree with you it is but I I just enjoy I just enjoy trying to do as much as I can myself. I'm not a mechanic or a body man, but everything else you know that I can possibly do myself, I do, and I enjoy doing it. It's called playing, and that's what I enjoy doing. Like doing all this stuff to these letters, painting all this stuff. You know, I just I just enjoy doing it that's my i guess that's my thing and i guess that's why when i get done and get tired of it i move it on and find something else that i can play with i tell you what that four-wheel drive air dam to me looks so much better than a two-wheel drive i'm hoping <laughs> hoping it won't drag when brian uh drops it but uh anyway this is this video is kind of i know it's getting kind of long and uh 
but I just wanted to show you this might be the if I'm home you know I'll be happy to video whatever but uh you know I'm just trying to this might be the last time it looks this way I don't know we'll just have to see and uh whenever Brian gets done Brian has a full-time job and uh he just does this in the evenings I, I think he enjoys being a mechanic he's very good at what he does he's very smart and I'm always thanking the Lord that I have him and his dad Charlie that helps him Charlie and uh, Tim Dixon at Gas Sex Chop Shop I'm always glad to have those folks as my friends because we kind of share the same kind of hobby Tim is on Facebook by the way type in Gas Sex Chop Shop and you'll find Tim Dixon uh, another thing the other day you know when I make videos, sometimes, you know, I'll watch them to see how many mistakes I made or how many things I wish I would have said that I didn't. Well, I'm going to mention this. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I was talking about uh, if you can get you a square body, get you one, get the get the one that will uh, best suit you. You know, if you want a automatic with AC, if you have a wife or kids or something, you know, you might want an AC truck, whatever. But, uh... The other thing I forgot to mention was uh, the gas tanks are already, they're not in the cab. You know, I mentioned to you that I had 55 through 59 Chevy and GMC trucks. I was into them whole hog there for several years. And then I got into 67 through 72 Chevy and GMC trucks. And then I got into these, and I like these, you know, me personally, I love them all. And I'd love to have another 67 or 8 or 70, well, whatever. <laughs> or I'd love to have another 57 Chevy truck. I truly would. I, there's something about those trucks. Anyway, nearly every one that I get a lot of times, especially if the gas tank is already bad, I just have Tim at Gas X Chop Shop relocated to, behind, you know, in, in, mounted in the bed, under the bed of the truck. And you just get it plumb out of the cab but you know i had a i had a 57 chevy truck big back glass man that thing was that was an awesome truck and it's sitting on a monte carlo frame you never would have known it it looked that good it was sharp it was lowered had nice wheels and tires on it gas tank was in the back and uh well no i've had two of them like that but anyway i'm reminiscing but anyway, that's some of the advantages of going with a square body. You've already got the gas tank in the back. You've already got disc brakes. So for me, that was a thing when I had my, uh, when I was into buying junk 55, 6, 7 Chevy trucks, you know, I, I bought them just in pieces, you know, scattered out in the field. And, I, and I'm not kidding. There was a fender here. There's a hood over there. Hey, there's a cab. And piece it together. You know and uh but you know i'm getting too old and that's too expensive but my point is i had the gas tank loaded relocated to the back so uh anyway i'm going to try to look around here y'all let me know i'm sure somebody's going to say jimmy you're making a terrible mistake lowering the truck and putting aftermarket wheels well i thought about that and then i thought well you know uh a couple of things kind of pop into my head it, uh, I'm, I'm not really building the truck for anybody else just for me you know and I kind of like it like that I like playing with them like I said if you didn't like doing it you know you wouldn't do it would you I mean if you if you don't like putting your hand in hot water you just do it once <laughs> you know otherwise you're going to get burned every time but I just like playing with them and making them giving them my kind of I guess touch either you like it or you don't most people like it I've never had too much trouble really selling one I don't really advertise I'm selling one but normally people ask me hey is it for sale and you, you either like the price or you don't you know I gotta once again if I can just kind of break even you know most of, sometimes I lose money especially like I said if I find something else I'm wanting real bad Sometimes I sell stuff cheaper than what I have have put into it. A lot of it too is because, like I said, I don't know how to do uh, body work or metal work. 
I mean, I could if I had a welder, but I don't, I don't, I'm not set up like Tim Dixon, and I'm not set up like Brian, I'm not a mechanic, I can do piddly things, but that's just about it, so this channel, if you're like me, is for you, 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 if you, if you're kind of like me, and you kind of like playing with them, trying to make them look a little bit better, just playing, but you don't have many skills like me, well, you might want to subscribe to Primer this best, because that's me, that's me in a nutshell. But uh, anyway, I wanted to point that out about the gas tank being relocated and stuff. I, uh, my problem question now, in my mind, I guess, is uh, do I want gray spoke, American Racing Wheels 20 inch, you know, uh, 10s and 8s, that's what they'll be, 10, 10 inch wide, 8 inch wide. Do I want gray spoke or do I want chrome? Uh, Brian, I think, is leaning that I should get chrome. I was off for gray there for a while, but we'll see. Might just get the chrome ones. They're a little bit more expensive, but like I was telling my wife, I'm just buying them one time. One time. And that's the way sometimes on on a, you know expensive things like wheels and tires that I try to look at things, you know, one time. Like exhaust, you know, do you want single exhaust or would you like to have duals? I'm just doing it one time. It's already up in the air. The guy's asking me, what do you want? I'll take duels. I think they look better myself, and uh, that's just me. Some people might agree, might not, I don't know. But if I keep the truck, I mean, when I get the truck back, I'm just going to just rattle can it, you know, make it look best I can, get rid of some of this yellow that's up here and everywhere. And uh, I'll put Penetrol on it, and it, I think it'll look pretty good. I'm just wanting to make it look like an original truck. You know that's been lowered and everything you know even the lowered stuff i mean if somebody wanted to you could put it all right back stock height and everything put the wheels back on it and hey you're good to go i'm not i'm not changing motors i'm not uh doing nothing like that so i get you know i've had some people get kind of aggravated with me sometimes especially when i sold my 62 chevy impala i mean hey it's my car I had it for 38 years. I'm not getting any younger. And I wanted to make sure, case in point, like my mother-in-law had a stroke. My wife's my wife's best friend's husband's mother had a, had a heart attack and died. I mean, you never know. You never know. My family's prone for heart attacks and strokes. So, I mean, that's what we normally die of. Most, most of us in this. And I'm the last one left. So, I mean... I was trying to make sure the car was going to a good home, and I think I did. Rob Pitts got it, and he's supposedly still has it. I'm hoping, because that's, that's another story. But anyway, I was trying to do the best I could by the car. There's a lot on that story that I won't get into, but trust me, I had the car's best interest at heart. I loved that 62 Impala. Anyway, I've talked long enough, guys. I'm sorry. I get started. I, I ramble around a lot, and I'm sorry, but that's just how I am. Uh, the the guy that read the meter reader guy that came by and done the <laughs> read our meter and water meter and stuff. Uh, me and him talked for a long time, and my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., she said, would you uh, let him go? He's got a job to do, and I apologize, but me and him just kind of hit it off, and uh, you know, we was talking about fishing and trucks and stuff and just general BS, I guess. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You're watching Primer is Best. I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. I'm, trying to, I'm looking around this truck, trying to pack, picture it with bumper guards on it, lowered down, wheels and tires, exhaust tips put on it, the AC working again. I'm not going to do much on the insides, guys because I am but I'm not I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get I'm either gonna get gray or black uh, rattle can paint and paint the carpet the carpets in good shape it's just a little bit sun bleached sun baked a little bit the stash cover that I did not put on I, I wish it'd been done a little bit better but it is what it is but uh, I'm not gonna worry about too much stuff it's just an old shop truck, you know, kind of, kind of deal, and 
I'm not going into perfection otherwise I wouldn't be doing all this other stuff and uh, you know I just enjoy I've had perfection before with vehicles perfect I mean and I was scared to drive them. I, I was scared. And every time I did, somebody would pull out in front of me or something. And perfection's great. I, I, really, I really like a beautiful, you know, it looks like brand new, for instance, 1985 Chevy truck. Hey, that's great. But I had more fun with this. Now, if I had a perfection truck, per perfect truck, I'm sorry, and a bird crapped on it, I'd be all, I'd be freaking out. Because I have had bird crap on my 71 Chevelle Super Sport. Had a bird crap on the black stripes as a factory Super Sport. Is a sh I mean, it was perfect. And it took away some of the oh, clear coat. It ate, you know, bird poop. It, it ate through some of it. Left a big spot. I was sick. Oh, my goodness. Sick. But with this, I mean, I'm not so worried. <laughs> I mean, it's more fun for me. I have more fun with stuff like this. Maybe you do too. Sorry, you're watching Primate is Best. If you'd like to leave me a comment on this old 1985 Chevy C10 truck, Tyler, I would appreciate it. If you're kind of like me and the blind leading the blind, so to speak, you might like this channel, Primate is Best. Please like and subscribe if you would. I sure would appreciate it. Sure enough, got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget and also... I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget One. Primate is best. I'm on uh, Facebook, Primate is best, and Instagram, Primate is best. And uh, don't forget, if you have an old car or an old truck that you're working on, just bought, just traded for, just recently sold, and you still have a, you know, video of it running or whatever, or how you got it running, what, just whatever the case may be, send me a video to my YouTube channel, Primate is best at Comcast.net. Primate is best, Comcast.net, or Facebook Messenger Primate is best, or Instagram Messenger Primate is best. I'll be happy to put it on my YouTube channel for free. Turn your phone just like this, sideways, like you're eating a hamburger, not like a hot dog. Turn it sideways. Please, no music in the video, no foul language. Just walk around, talk about it, just like I've been doing here for I don't know how long. Two or three minutes long. You can go longer if you want, but most people are not like me, and they talk all day about nothing. <laughs> but if sure enough, if you want to send me a video, I'd appreciate it. I'll put it on my YouTube channel for free. It doesn't cost you anything. You can tell your family and friends and anybody else that you want to know that you got a video of your car or truck on Primitive's Best YouTube channel. Trying to keep the channel going, guys, and I appreciate all those that have sent in videos of your cars and trucks. Sure does mean a lot because I haven't been able to play with them since my mother-in-law had a stroke. And I can't believe I'm here at home this time of day anyway. We're normally there from morning till night. Time we get a shower, eat a bite, it's time for bed and get up and do the same thing. But this day's kind of unusual. But uh, I'm going to put this stuff in here for Brian. Uh... Check out his YouTube channel, GM1038. Maybe he'll give you some update videos on it, and we'll just kind of go from there. Hope y'all's having a blessed day today. My goodness, I am in this video so long. I apologize. But uh, y'all's my friends, and I feel like I'm talking to family and friends when I'm talking to y'all. I hope y'all's having a blessed day. The Lord is in charge. He's made a beautiful day today. And I'm so glad to be alive. God bless each and every one of y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'll see y'all later.